Hey guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I went a video without communicating with you guys, I did that no talking video, Hope hopefully you guys enjoy that video, as you guys may know, today's Friday and I'm so happy, I love Fridays, it's the end of the week, looking forward to the weekend, but yeah. I love Fridays. I get to spend Fridays with y'all. So I'm just very excited for that. And you guys could already know that I guess my favorite color is pink. It's not really my favorite color, but this is like a pink orange t shirt. And so, yeah. Um, in today's video, it would be like a talking video. Like last Wednesday. Um, I spoke about how people shouldn't care what other people think. And now, um, I want to speak about just me struggling with acne, like, especially on my chin, as you guys may see, like, ever since I was, I would say, eight years old, I've struggled with acne. It was really bad when I was eight years old, from the age of eight to the age of 16. I kid you not, guys. As soon as I turned 18, one day I woke up and all my acne was gone. I was like, oh, is this real? Because I, I would have never thought that my dark spots on my forehead, like I had, oh my gosh, my acne was so bad. As a young kid, I had dark spots all over my forehead, all over my chin. I still struggle with acne. And right here, right here. And, well, I didn't really break out with acne on my cheek. But now in my... I'm still young, guys. I really don't want to... Y'all can guess my age. But as I started to get older, I'll say I'm past 16. Um, I started to break out on my chin, which is very odd. So, yeah. So, yeah, like I told you guys, I woke up and I was so surprised to see my face clear. I'm like, dang, I've never seen my face this clear. Like, that's when I started to take, like, a lot of pictures. I mean, I still took pictures with acne when I used to struggle with acne bad, but not as much as when my face was clear free. So, from acne. Um, I mean, it's the same thing, clear free, so clear from acne. <laughs> Um, and yeah, but, um, then I was surprised when also, so I live in Boston, we have four seasons. So usually in the summer, my skin clears up and it's like, I wouldn't say it's super clear, but it's mostly clear. And then when it starts getting winter time, that's when I really break out with acne. So then I realized that during a season like winter every every winter season I break out with acne and it's like I was like wow so I guess it's never going to stop for me I'm gonna just keep on getting acne you know I thought I thought I would stop getting acne um at a certain age like but I guess, you know, it's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. Like, imagine me making this YouTube account at 13, 14, 15, 16, and then you guys see all at me. Um, yeah, it was so bad that, you know how kids are? You know how young kids are. So when I was, um, yeah, I'll say in like fifth grade to eighth grade I got bullied really bad for my acne on my face they used to call me pimple face um yeah it was just all around bad I don't dwell on negative experiences like that like I'm way past that I'm not I'm not even th I don't even think about that I don't even think about getting bullied I'm just saying that like the main topic I'm talking about is acne so I'm just saying while I had acne while it was bad 
I got bullied for it. So, and it wasn't a good experience, obviously. Obviously, being bullied is not a good experience. So, and I got bullied for other stuff too, but that's saved for another video. The time I got bullied. And I would tell you guys, eighth grade was the worst. Oh my gosh, I got bullied bad in eighth grade. I've, like, I... I don't know why people be like, oh, yeah, if I could go back to my past, I would change this and that. I wish I could go back into the past. For me, no. I love my present. I want to be in the present. I don't think I want to go into the future. I just want my future to just be, like, I don't want to know my full future. Like, I just want to go go through life day to day in the present, making a, making a better life for myself. So, yeah, hopefully, guys, I'm not all over the place. So hopefully you guys are following what I'm saying. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but now let's go in the present. Now, yes, I'm breaking out. Like right now we're, I'm in a season of fall about to be winter starts at the end of November and you know I brought out on my cheek I I shouldn't even be touching my face okay that's self-explanatory the way to stop getting angry is just like don't touch your face just like leave it alone and I, I, I'm not a person that touches their face a lot no I don't do that okay if there's a really big itch yeah I'm a, but it's gonna be like that it's not gonna be like the whole hand so yeah, um, and then, as you guys can obviously, I have, like, a whole lot, like, I've never broken out this bad, the last time I broke out this bad on my chin was when I was a teenager, guys, oh my gosh, guys, did you, I know you guys are like, okay, she was a teenager, so how old is she now, but, in one of my videos, I did actually reveal to you guys my age without saying my age so if you want to know my age just find that video okay yeah. period uh, period is um yeah i gotta start like sitting up i don't want to like slouch you know it's good sit up sit up sit up Shut up and put your money where your mouth is. That's what you get for waking up in Vegas. <laughs> Guys, I'm so I I could be so random at times. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm like making a talking video. Like my videos always used to be me like t tapping just doing some ASMR stuff. It's just good for me to like talk on my channel now. It's time for the talk now. Yeah. And now I feel like more comfortable because at first when I started out YouTube um near the end of 2020, I I'm not going to lie to you guys. <laughs> I was a little shy to like talk because like if you guys really know the real me, I was a shy person growing up. Okay. Wow. Wow. Because I'm talking, I was talking about acne. Now I'm talking about how I was a shy person growing up. So you guys are probably like, what is going on? Like, she was talking about acne. Now she's talking about this and that. But I just want to reveal to you guys something about me so yeah I was a shy person growing up and I'm not the person to be like giving presentations or like if there's if if it's time for me to present you know I would like brain freeze and like I wouldn't want to present you know I was a shy person growing up and yeah and so for me to make a YouTube is like it's not a lot, but, like, my mom wanted me to make a YouTube. That's why I made a YouTube because my mom. She was like, just do it. Just do it. Just, like, eat crunchy fruit foods. Um, Like, 
do ASMR, and I just started to do ASMR, but I was the one who came up with tea tapping, you know, so, yeah, and, you know, I got better and better at communicating in front of a camera, so now I'm comfortable speaking with you guys, and I don't even, I used to um, think about the minutes passing, like, I used to be like, okay, I got to talk for, like, this amount of minutes. I used to think about the minutes while talking, and now I don't even do that no more. I just talk, like, just, I'm just comfortable in the camera now. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, to me, to, um, sorry, guys. Oh, my edges is, like. Not there, and not there. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I take to combat my acne is an acne treatment called Clarisol. So I have the Clarisol acne pads and the Clarisol cream. So first I use the Clarisol acne pads and I wipe it all over in my face. This is the, just the uh, areas that have acne or blackheads. And this salicylic acid in the pads, which is supposed to help your acne and help the dark spots go away on your face. But I don't even know. It's taking a little while for these to clear up. So for the cream, you put it on overnight and then it's supposed to help get rid of the dark spots on the face. Um, or like, like if you have a zit, it's supposed to shrink it okay overnight but I don't really break out like that like I don't get cysts like big cysts big cysts. no that's like once in a blue moon but I just realized I have to start putting the Clarisol cream on in the morning not just nighttime but the morning also because this gotta go this gotta go like this normally I don't break out like this and yeah it's not normal for me to break out like this. And I totally understand I'm a woman, so it could be hormonal acne too. And when, you know, monthly cycle, menstruation, so you guys already know that. Yeah. So, um, I'll make this video 15 minutes. I still want to talk, but sometimes I have to gather my thoughts and we got, I got to do a little pause. I don't know why I always say we, because you guys are not doing nothing but watch my videos. That's it. It's just me. So, yeah. But it's good. Like, I'm not teeth tapping in this video. You guys are actually just watching me talk to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I would describe myself, guys, as an introvert. Yes, an introvert having a YouTube channel. That don't even go together because usually an extrovert would have a YouTube channel. A person that loves communicating, talking, just just talking about themselves a lot and stuff. So. But, yeah. To the outside world... They perceive me as reserved, and I do show that side of me as reserved, quiet. But if you truly get to know me, I could be goofy. Um, I could talk a lot if you really, like, get to know me. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm on a public platform, so you guys are just listening to me talk, 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 talk. You know, I don't want this video to be an hour unless you guys request me to make an hour long video of just me talking in general about anything. I think next time. Yeah. So as I started to make these talking videos, I just feel like I want to make more and more and more. Like it's just once you do something, you want to do it more, 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 more. That's just that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Okay, so yes, um, 
my next, I guess, talking or you can say rambling video. I'm going to end this video right now. Next rambling video, I do want to speak about the time, the times I got bullied and the stories and stuff. It's just, like I told you guys, eighth grade was the worst, <laughs> the worst time I got bullied, so... But high school, I did not take no bull crap. You could not try me like square eight. Now nah, I didn't even, I didn't even get into a fight. I almost did in ninth grade. Okay, that's for another video, guys. <laughs> you guys are just, just keep knowing about me more and more and more. Just keep on watching my videos. Keep on liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you want to share the video, I don't, I don't care. Just share the video. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, peace.